In this lesson, we will learn how to transfer animation with the help of character sets in the Tracks Editor. In this scene, we have two control rigs. One is animated and one is not. Let's go ahead and hit play to take a look at the animation. So you can see the robot on the left will roll forward and then blast his cannon. What we'll do is learn how we can use, again, just a few character sets in the Tracks Editor to transfer the animation from this robot to the lifeless model. So we first need to go in and create a character set which is a keying group that holds all of our cubal properties. Let's go ahead and grab all of the control objects of our animated model and now we can go up to the character menu and choose create character set. Let's go to the option box and I'll reset the settings. I like to make sure and include a set to all cubal to make sure that all cable channels get stored in the set. And then we can rename the character set. We can call this, let's say, CS underscore robot source. Sweet. Let's now choose create. And there we have it. You can see that our cable channels have now been tied to our character set. Also keep in mind that once the character set is active, we'll only see the keyframes that are connected to that set. So if you wanted to focus on keyframes of other objects, not a part of the set, you'd want to deactivate the set by going to the bottom right hand corner of Maya. You can then go to the character set drop down and set that to none. Another way is to go to character, set current character set, and here's none, or you can go ahead and pick between your list of character sets and sub character sets as well. Subcharacter sets are great because they allow us to focus on just parts of our rig. So if we just wanted to focus on the keyframes of, let's say, one of the character's arms, we can go ahead and use a subcharacter set to do that. All right, but guess what? Our character set has been made. Let's make sure it's active so we can go ahead and create our animation clip. We'll head over to the Tracks Editor now. So that's Window Animation Editors, Tracks Editor. All right, sweet. Now from here, we can go to the Create menu, and we'll now choose Create Animation Clip. Let's go to the Option box, and I'll reset the settings. Let's go ahead and name our clip. We can always call this Robot Roll. And the settings are great because they will assure that all animation will be added to our clip. So settings like Animation Curve underneath Time Range will look at all animation and it'll make sure that all of that data will get stored in our clip. Also, offset is really important. Let's make sure it's set to absolute to make sure that all keyframes that we have set will be added to the clip. If we use something like relative, it might push a few of our keyframes and function curves to smooth out our result. So you'll notice a certain offset that may not be desirable. So if that's the case, just go ahead and make sure offset is set to absolute. And then if you had any sub-character sets, you'd want to make sure that these options are on. Also, you'll notice that by default, our clip will be added not only in the visor, but in the tracks editor as well. Sweet, so you might find that convenient. If it's removed from your tracks editor, you could always jump back to the visor and simply middle click and drag to add it back into the Tracks Editor. Let's now go ahead and click on Create Clip, and there we have it. So now we can go ahead and highlight the clip and go to File and choose Export. Let's go ahead and name this Robot Roll. Sweet! You'll notice that it will be added to your Clips directory. Nice! I'll go ahead and choose Save. Now once we've done that, we're ready to work on transferring the animation to the new robot. Let's go ahead and grab our lifeless robot and we'll create a character set for it. Remember, we need to make sure we have a character set in order to work with the tracks editor and to work with clip data. Let's go ahead and call this CS Robot TRGT for target. All right, sweet. I'll now go ahead and choose Create. Fantastic. So now watch this. When we jump back to the Tracks Editor, you'll notice that our new set has been added. 
So now we can go to File, Import Animation Clip to Characters. We'll grab Robot Roll and choose Open. Sweet. So if we were to go ahead and start adjusting the clip, you should notice that the animation will be matched. And here's the great thing about this. We can go ahead and offset this clip. That way we can prevent twinning where things happen at the same time. So you'll notice that from offsetting this about five frames or so, now things are timed in a more realistic way. Or if you wanted to, you can make sure that this clip is brought back to frame one, and then you can go ahead and drag the edge of it to scale your time to slow it down just a bit more. So this is another way we can prevent twinning. You can see that the robot on our right will move a little bit slower. Fantastic. One more thing to point out, if you notice that your animation has not been transferred successfully, if things are a little bit off, you can go to Character and then use the Character Mapper just to make sure that what you have transferred to is aligned with what you have transferred from. So you can basically go ahead and load all of that information in here. You can go ahead and take your character set and choose load. If you ever get a warning that simply means that you're getting a name clash, let me go ahead and show you a way around that. Let me go ahead and kind of back up the animation just a bit so we can quickly go in and grab one of the control rigs. So I'll go ahead and start with the first control rig, the one that we used as our source. We can then go to modify and use prefix hierarchy names just to give this a new prefix. So I'll go ahead and call this char for character underscore src for source and then I'll add another underscore and choose OK. So now we have a unique name for all controls. Next I'd like to remove the namespace from the rig that was once lifeless. Namespaces can be a bit annoying to work with as you just have seen because they can kind of get in the way from using the character set system as a way of transferring animation. So what we'll do is go ahead and remove the namespace and we can do that by using a really basic mel command. So let's go ahead and move to our command line. Let's make sure this is set to mel and we'll type in the following. That's going to be name space all one word. We'll add a space after that and then dash mv for move. Following that, we'll go ahead and add two quotation marks, and inside, we'll use the name of our namespace, which in this case is RIG, capital R-I-G. So let's go ahead and type that in. Now, we'll add another space, another set of quotes, and inside, we'll go ahead and put the colon that follows the namespace. So that's what separates the namespace from the name of the object. Now what we need to do is go ahead and add the flag dash force, to force this move. So we're basically moving rig into the colon. And of course that's not necessarily legal, but once we force the move, it'll go ahead and clear out the namespace. So once we hit enter, you'll see that all of that information is gone. So watch this. We can jump back to our character mapper. And then once we do, we can now go ahead and take, let's say, the source character set. We'll load that as the source. We could also do that from here. We can go ahead and change this to source instead of TRGT. There we go. Once we hit enter, that information will be updated. And then we can go ahead and switch over to our target character set and choose low target. All of that information is in. We can now go to edit and tell Maya to map based on our order. So everything should be in the correct order. And once we choose that, you can see Maya has mapped all of that information automatically and that will assure that the animation that you have on one rig will be the exact animation that you have on the opposite rig. Fantastic. So in this lesson, we've learned how to transfer animation with the help of character sets and the tracks editor.